Today I'm going to show you how to program a train live pro drive switch motor from an NCE system, but the ideas here will work with any other system. Um, it needs to be programmed in a special mode. These new decoders work with either analog or digital, and they come programmed for analog. So when you hook them to DCC, they go kind of berserk here. So the first thing we need to do is you set up the programming track. So I'll activate the programming track. It really shuts it up. And now we go into what NCE calls a standard mode. It's the paged mode. It's automatically selected, so you can pick page mode with any other system. The NCE system selects between page and register mode. And this will come back in page mode. I've tested it. And now what we need to do is wait. At this point, the system should be trying to read the manufacturer ID. And the decoder isn't going to respond. So it didn't. It says it can't read it. I hit enter. Now it's going to try to read the decoder version. And it's not going to respond again. And we have to wait for this. Again. Boring, isn't it? It says can't read the CV. Now the next thing is when it should go into the configuration mode where it wants to start setting the standard parameters that a page mode would use. And it's going to wait again. We need to let it time out. This may take a little bit longer. Okay, it can't read it again. It entered to go past it. Now it's asking for the short address. Now, at this point, whatever we put in there isn't going to program right, but the only thing we have to do is change the address from zero, which means analog mode, the way it's shipped, to any other address than zero. We have to get into DCC mode by changing the address of the decoder to something other than zero. So it really doesn't matter what I put in there. I just hit 22. I hit enter. And now it's going to ask me if I want to activate the address. On the NCE cab, you push 1 for yes, and then what I'm going to do just after doing that is briefly interrupt the power to the decoder. So press 1, briefly interrupt it, and just wait it. And you probably couldn't hear it, but you heard a little click, click from the decoder, which means it actually is trying to program it. And we just want to wait this out because it's really trying to change the short address and it's not communicating well but it will send something and it says can't read the CV so now I'm going to exit the programming track mode and I'm back in normal DCC mode and at this moment it's not jamming back and forth so I know already that I've successfully changed the short address to something other than zero. I'm going to go back into the programming track and I'm going to pick the standard mode again which is the paged mode in NCE. In this case it says to wait. It's going to still refuse to read the, the manufacturer ID. Once in a while it may read it back. I don't know why. But now when I hit enter you had a little click click and read the decoder version as version 024, which is the newest one. So I'll hit enter. Now it's clicking every time I do something. Act, set up the short address. It's asking me to hit 1 to set up the short address. So I'll hit 1. And it says it couldn't read it. That's okay, but I'm going to set the short address to address 6. And hit enter. And then it says activate the address. So I press 1. And you can't hit it again, but the it has clicked, which means it's actually programmed. And at this point, I can exit the programming track mode. Now, if I select accessory 6 and try to control it, okay, I threw it, select accessory 6 again, and throw it the other direction, and it works fine. You can also set all the CVs now, although you still need to use the paged mode or an NCE, use the standard mode, which automatically will select page to register depending on what's best. And that's the magic secret.